What you'll notice here is I have the title Special Pair of P680. Now, if you look down here, this is not P680. This is actually P700, part of Photosystem 1. But this diagram will suffice for what we're talking about. Okay? What's meant to be shown down here is this is the special pair of chlorophyll molecules. Okay? Although this is a P700, and for P680, these acceptors over here are a little bit different. But suffice to say, this special pair of chlorophyll molecules is going to behave as one unit. They're very, very close in proximity to one another. And it turns out that that close proximity allows them to have some very different properties that other chlorophyll molecules do not have. One of those is the capacity to actually very strongly donate electrons. Okay? It turns out that whenever this P700 special pair gets excited, just like the P680 in Photosystem 2, it's able to go up very high in energy and donate electrons to various electron acceptors. Okay? Now it is true, these chlorophylls over here can donate electrons, but they're not able to go up in energy as much. The fact that these chlorophylls are, are paired up in other words, allows them to increase in energy drastically and become a very, very strong oxidizing agent, okay? Especially in the case of P680, all right? Now, this is where we're going to talk about charge separation, all right? Now, we talked about electron holes and all that stuff. This is more of an electron diagram, not molecular, okay? This is our starting point, okay? Right. Our starting point is actually down here, and I probably should have switched the order of these pictures, but it's too late. This is our starting point. We have two electrons here that are paired up. All right? This is the starting point for P680. Both electrons paired up, opposite spin states in the same orbital. Light energy, H nu or HV, strikes these electrons and causes one of them to go up in energy. Once we get the electron into the excited state up here, it turns out this high energy electron is a fantastic reducing agent. This one at the bottom is, the elect is going to be what's called the electron hole. It's not a good reducing agent. It's actually a good oxidizing agent. So these electrons are going to, in these spaces where they are, are going to behave very differently. So this state right here, once we have UV photons exciting this electron, this is what we have here. So this is our donor. This is our special pair right here. And this is the acceptor. It turns out that this electron can be transferred to this acceptor right here. Notice the state over here once we get the electron transfer. Also notice the excited molecule, the P680, which is this D, is now D+. That's what we saw on a previous slide when we were looking at P680+. Okay, that's the D+. It now has an electron hole, and it is a very powerful oxidizing agent. It will take an electron to replace that. And it turns out that it replaces it with electrons from water, a reaction that's catalyzed by that oxygen evolving complex. The acceptor got an electron, and it turns out it has an A minus charge now. Okay? It's an acceptor, but it has one more electron, so its charge went down by one. Okay? Now, hopefully, this makes sense. We start off with the donor. These are both for the donor. Donor has low energy electrons paired up. You get UV photons that excite or energize this electron up to the excited state, as you see here, and this electron then can be transferred to a nearby acceptor. In the case of Photosystem 2, that acceptor is pheophyton. Okay? And when that electron is transferred to pheophyton, pheophyton would be this A-, and the P680 would be the electron hole P680, P680+. Plus. All right? In the next video, we're actually going to look specifically at the oxygen evolving complex and talk about it in a lot more detail.